Okay, we're going to go back to the Mike Duffy charges for reaction from Prince Edward Island, where Mike Duffy has a home in Cavendish. Joining us now by FaceTime from Charlottetown is Wayne uh, Thibodeau. He is a news editor at The Garden. Uh, Wayne, what kind of a reaction is this story getting? Well, you know, when we were watching uh, the news conference on CTV a little earlier and Robert Fife, your political reporter, his first words out of his mouth was, wow. And I think that was similar here in the newsroom. There was this collective pause. We all expected the charges. We all knew that some of the charges that Mr. Duffy were facing were serious. But the fact that there were 31 charges against Mr. Duffy, some very ser serious charges, that bribery one, I know stands out for me, uh, was quite a shock here in the newsroom. And I did have a chance to get out on the streets a bit earlier uh, today after those charges were announced. And I think that seems to be the general feeling from the few people I did talk to on the streets of Charlottetown this afternoon. People are surprised at the number of charges and the severity of the charges that their PEI senator now faces. So would you say the Islanders are also surprised and, and not yes, expecting that, this reaction? I think that's true. I think all Islanders have been watching with interest Mr. Duffy's uh, saga as it's unfolded since he's been in the Senate. And let's remember, no one is surprised. There was controversy here locally when Mr. Duffy was even appointed to the Senate on whether he should have even been appointed for Prince Edward Island because of his residency issue, because he spent three, four decades in Ottawa. But all that being said, I think Islanders, while they were anticipating charges, I don't think anybody was anticipating 31 charges and some of the severity of the charges that were laid today by the RCMP in Ottawa. And tell me, with his home there in Cavendish, how often do the neighbours see him? Well, you know, that's a good question. In fact, my phone was ringing off the hook over the past couple of days of whether Mr. Duffy was in PEI. We had heard some reports that he was back on the island. In fact, we now know that he is. But to be fair to say, most islanders do not see Mr. Duffy very often. Even when he was an active senator, he would roll into town for an announcement. There'd be a news conference, a bit of shaking of hands. And then after that, he'd be back off to Ottawa again. So no, Mr. Duffy has not seen that frequently in Ottawa. And since all this has happened, uh, not at all. In fact, I was at his cottage in Cavendish, which is down a little narrow lane, uh, sort of right along the main drag in Cavendish. And it was all boarded up, in fact, only a few weeks ago. But I guess he has returned to Ottawa now following his open heart surgery uh, to do a bit of recovery, although I suspect today is not a great day for recovery for his uh, open heart surgery. And who could be called or compelled to testify? Anyone from PEI? Well, I watched with interest the news conference from the RCMP, and uh, when we talked to, uh, or when we heard from Gilles Michaud, he did mention that they did investigate a number, or did uh, interview, sorry, a number of people from a number of provinces, including Prince Edward Island. I would suspect one of his uh, key advisors, uh, his executive assistant, is from Prince Edward Island, Mary McQuaid. She worked very closely with, with him since he, the day, since, since the first day he was appointed to the Senate. I would suspect that she would be a key witness in any upcoming investigation because I think she did a lot of sort of the tracking of his travel and expenses. So uh, I would watch for that. There may also be some uh, key Tories on Prince Edward Island that may be called. Uh, that's yet to be seen, of course, but uh, he was a key player not only for the federal Conservative Party since he was announced in the, since he was uh, appointed to the Senate, but he also played a key role here for fundraising initiatives for the local Conservative Party here on Prince Edward Island. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. No problem. Thank you for your time.